Reverend Majid El Shafi always wakes up to the same stark reminder. An Egyptian interrogator carved out this cross on his back. The Egyptian secret police tortured Majid for being a Christian activist in Egypt. The officer that tortured me, they don't call each other by names. They call each other by numbers. Officer number 27, he came, he said, you tell me the name of your friends, I said no. And he bring an Egyptian knife, it's called mangal, is what they use to cut the grass. And they make cut in the back of my left shoulder to the bones, and they put salt and lemon in the open wounds. Why were you arrested? Why did the Egyptian government torture you? We started human rights organization in Egypt, underground human rights organization. We built churches inside caves, inside mountains, because according to the Egyptian law, you cannot build churches. You cannot even fix the old churches. Fearing for his life in Egypt, El Shafi managed to escape the country, and then he received religious asylum in Canada eight years ago. Majid now operates One Free World International, a human rights organization based out of Toronto. He's an evangelical Christian, but he tries to help Christians in need within the Middle East, regardless of denomination. An armed bodyguard accompanies El Shafi. There are fatwas, Muslim death threats, against him. Majid is on his way here in Toronto to check up on Rami Atia, an Egyptian still traumatized from being tortured. Rami and his wife Christine are Egyptians. They were full of optimism when they married. They had wealth, a thriving business, a future, and later children. But that vanished when Egyptian security, the SSI, summoned Rami for interrogation in June 2008. Christine's father was a Christian activist, and they wanted to punish the family. Basically, some of it cigarettes, and uh, some of it is a special machine, very hot metal, and they just burn the bag with it. 32 times. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.